Hey guys, how's it going? So, patch 1.1 came out, mixed things up a bit, and they actually just came out with a hot fix today. They fixed a few things, but the big thing is here in Ancient Mines, they got rid of the goblin copters. So, that makes it a bit easier for uh, people in Nightmare. So, I thought I'd make a build for it and show you guys how I've been doing it. So, we're going to start with gas trap here and a gas trap here and then I'm gonna throw an explosive a little bit out there let's switch characters real quick just so I can actually run All right, and then we're gonna put another gas trap right here and another explosive nice we only have 30 left so I can't really do much um, I'm gonna jump on my monk because my monk's the one that has a weapon that is upgraded um, Everything should die by itself besides this lane. So I'm just going to run up here and kill it real quick. Kill some spiders, you know. Oh, well, that's electric immune, so we're going to run away from that. And that spider is also electric immune, so let's see if we can get it over here into the explosive. There we go. So this gas trap will it'll just stop everything right here, but might as well just run up and kill everything, make it go a little bit faster. So we can get going. Okay. Now that's dead. So now we're gonna switch to our squire. Oh, I should have just switched. It's too late now. Slow motion run. Okay, switch to our squire. Let's uh, throw this trap up here. It has a trap in every lane. And you get a real uh, real bad hand when it comes to how much mana you get here. But do this. And we're just going to face this one this way. Make sure to clip. See the chest there? You're going to clip that a little bit just to make sure it'll hit spiders if they're over there. And we're going to switch back to our monk. Um, I'm going to stand on top of this. And I'm going to buff it. I don't have any points in that, but I'm just going to buff it. It by itself is um, better than nothing. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to kill these spiders that come over here because I can only put one DST down until next wave. And then I'm going to go kill the Sharkin as well. I actually shouldn't need to. It'll get into that explosive trap and it will die. But I like to kill it. And look, was paying attention. That spider came over. Ooh, might as well just speed this up a little bit. And you don't get an ogre until wave three. So by then should be good. So let's kill this cobalt. Before it hits us. Alright, let's see how lucky we got with uh, where the gins died. Because that determines how much you can actually build on the wave 3. Can't finish the build exactly because this build does take quite a bit of mana. But you can get pretty close. Alright. So we're going to want these to be lined up. Just get as closely lined up as you can. And then back up a little bit okay now we're gonna do the same thing let's get rid of this you're gonna try and make it so you can hit spiders that are on all of those things so that should hit the spiders and we're gonna line this one up too back up a little bit get them as close as possible now we're gonna line this up just in front of that tombstone so that it gets all those uh, I've seen some people go flame turrets here which works very it, it'll work well it will I'm just gonna face that one that way but if you don't have the stats in range yet um, it's not the best so here I like to actually split this so it's gonna go the left lane and a little bit on the right lane so I'm gonna leave it like that okay so I got all those and then Let's see, do I have enough? Oh, 
Let's switch this on over to Eevee. Get my lower level one. This right here. I'm gonna make sure it's only four. Drag it on through. Let's make sure it's hitting all. If you uh, hit E, they should have armor on them. And that one does. Just repair that. Okay, so we got 60 left. So I can actually get the three walls I want. So actually, if you set up the way I do, you can look at it. You can put one here, go to this corner, and it's still only one. So you're basically just kind of trapping yourself in here. Uh, this is really just protecting your DSTs from the ogre slimes if for whatever reason they end up targeting these and from and from uh, spiders so that's why you can want them to be kind of close to the DSTs the spiders will web them and it just bounces back um, you gotta make sure you line these up properly because when assassins come in um, if they're not lined up properly, Assassin will just pick through your DSTs. But, mine are lined up, so. This buff beam does wonders. So, like I was saying before, somebody put flames, but if you don't have the range on the flames, your flames barely make it to the walls. And if things are on the walls, um... It's not too late, but it's getting too late. <laughs> All right, and then actually, I don't need to pick up any mana to show you guys the rest of the build. So the rest of the build, I'm putting a darkness trap there and a darkness trap over here. So what this darkness trap is really gonna do is it's going to make it to your walls take the least amount of damage possible. Um, and that's important, especially with the low being lower stats because your DSTs might not hit as hard or shoot as fast. So it's a little more important because of that. Okay, so that's the build. Let me just go over my stats real quick just so you guys can get a little reference. So fort is 600 and power is 400. Range is 267. So my range is low on this. And my stats I have all in fort to make sure that my traps get the most charges possible. Now the one you probably really want to see, which is my apprentice. I have 600 power, basically no fort, and almost 600 range. And all of my points are in range. I'm trying to hit things from as far away as possible. Um, if you have a lot of range from your stats, you can put it more into rate. Uh, that's why it's just more, you'll get a little further in the waves if you can attack faster. Uh, my Squire, which is just boosting, so literally doesn't matter what his stats are, but there they are if you want to see them. I'm not even using any of those. And then my EV, which for some reason I keep switching to that weapon. Um, the power is 700, and that's really the important one. All my points are in power, so my buff beam gives my targets as much damage as possible and then so let me change this over to my wall squire because I put the walls down with that it's all in fort everything's in fort <laughs> uh, and my stats fort is almost a thousand on this guy so all my gears buffed for fort will upgrade to fort I got this one because it had high fort like everything's for fort um, this build works so you guys can actually farm these rocks if you need them. If you're trying to get to level 83 in a very easy AFK way, once you get your stats up a bit, this is very easy and very AFKable. Uh, I hope this helped. If it did, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I release a few videos a week, so thanks for watching.